Former champions. Former champions, Bob Bass and Diamond Timothy Flowers will sit and watch. And for more, cheat, let's go to our ring announcer, Joe Seelig. Ladies and gentlemen, our next match on today's choice. program is scheduled for one fall. It is a tag team action match. Well, even before our announcer, Joe Seelig, can finish the introduction, we've got Chi Chi Cruz and Bulldog Bob Brown Getting things going, referee Ron Gogas says, go ahead, ring the bell. Look at this now. Leo Burke hasn't even got his, uh, you know do his jacket off. Wait, let me say something. You know what you're doing? They're teaching them bums and them cheats to show them how to do it properly, to show them the right way. Because they're nothing but bums and cheats, but you would never say that. You never would. Well, this is an unprovoked you attack. To my face, brother. An unprovoked attack, and I'll tell you something, Bulldog Bob Brown and Chi Chi Cruz are going to pay for it because here's Leo Burke now whipping Bulldog back into Brother Bobby. Yeah, a little double team in there, Maxwell. A little more cheap by those Chi Chi teams. Cruz and Bulldog Brown with an unprovoked attack even before the bell. They Pearl Harbor, Kay and Burke. Unprovoked. Unprovoked. Bulldog and Chi Chi Cruz. You yeah. guys, hey, wait a second. Now you guys are from the United States. Diamond Timothy Flowers and Bobby Bass, you would be familiar with the term Pearl Harbor. Yeah, Pearl Harbor. Them, uh, yeah. The slant eyed little Jap from the Pearl Harbor. That's a work of a fifth grade here, my friend. But they but got I, him before they got them. You understand what I'm saying? There's a beautiful oh, hip toss by Burke and Chi Chi Cruz is down on the map. You know, Maxwell, during my match, the full I told me afterwards, you were saying up pretty nasty things about me. Well, for the record, I was talking about your status as one of the uh, better amateur wrestlers at one time in the United States. Four-time New York State champion, I understand. Three-time AAU national contender you don't know and nothing. champion. You don't know nothing. As Five-time well as, champion and four times. All right, get that as well thing. as a member of the United States Olympic wrestling team at the 76 Games in Montreal. And Diamond Timothy, for a man with those lofty credentials, one can't help but wonder why, you, why? Have, you have followed the path that you have. The simple the reason, the order. almighty dollar, my man, the almighty dollar. You want to fight, I can fight. You want to wrestle, I can wrestle. You want to go chairs, chains, tables, anything you want to do. Leo DeRocher says it best, baby. Good guys, nice guys finish last. And nobody asks how you win, they ask if you win. And I do anything it takes to win. Just like I did when I was an amateur champion, I was dirty then, too. Well, I'll tell you something. You've got your work cut out if you want to win back those Continental Tag Team belts you do because Bobby Kay and Leo Burke certainly show no signs of relinquishing those titles. Here's Kay now tagging with Burke. You know what you're forgetting, Maxwell? You're forgetting one very, very important detail. When we were the champions, we put the belts on the line every night because we were true champions. We didn't back down for nobody. Now, Timmy, have you got a phone call at your apartment about putting the titles on the line from the promoters? Every night. No, they don't want to give us a return match right. because they're scared. That's right. At least we were man enough to put them up. Now, what happened with Leo Burke and Bobby Kay? Oh, we got a couple of belts. Let's keep them. Nah, it doesn't work yeah. like that, my friend. The name of the game is put them on the line and let's get down and do some. I can't say that word on TV, but butt-kicking. I'll tell you what, if Brown and Cruz win the belts tonight here, we'll take their on and kick their butts and kick their teeth and their eyeballs down their throats. I can't it. believe that you guys would go after your good buddy Bulldog hey, Brown. Hey, there's no good buddy involved in here, pal. The name of the game is Money and Prestige. That's right. And we like the both of it. Wrestling is individualism or a tag team or a team. Every, well, us for, for every, against everybody else, we're out for ourselves, and that's it. We don't care about nobody else. Do you think for one minute... We wouldn't take on Brown or Rip Roger or anybody else. You have something we wanted? Well, let me tell you, pal, we're going against anybody for the whole almighty dollar. Ain't that right, Big Tim? You know how big a pinhole is, Maxwell. That's about as far as some friendships go in the wrestling game, baby. But not me and Timmy, brother. It's like the Grand Canyon, Daddy. Wide in the teeth. <laughs> what are you <laughs> on the boat? Well, I just can't imagine you two going up against... Someone like Bulldog, who's been such a great pal of yours. And here's the Bulldog in all kinds of trouble now, getting we decked have from no one friends, end of the ring to the well. other. We have no friends. And by the way, what'd you shoot today at the golf course? 190? Was that 190? And he had that, he had that bump, Charlie Booth, while the hockey player got rid of. 
Uh, who do you play for? The Buck Tooth Saints or something? You get rid of Charlie. Charlie, hit the ball. Duh. What ball? <laughs> Hey, I shot my usual 69 today, you baby. Did, you did good, brother. You did good. Always, always. Hey, my, my honor to caddy for you today, too. That's right. You're Driving caddy. the cart, you, baby. That's right. You caddy for me tomorrow. The only people on the course are the Lincoln Continental for a golf cart. Here is Leo Burke coming down hard on the Bulldog. Stop it unnecessarily on the Bulldog. Using those vicious un... Un, uh, unrest, but they don't, they don't wrestle. I mean, they just get in there and brawl. But you guys want to brawl? We'll brawl with you. Anytime. Bulldog Bob Brown was talking a pretty good game before this match and what did got he underway. And he talked about all kinds of things that he and Chi Chi Cruz were going to do. And all I, you know, <laughs> I just marvel at how some people yeah. are able to talk such good games yeah. but fail to back it up in the way. You ring. know what? I got to agree with you on that and because, hold on now, I got to agree with you on that. Let me ask you here. I agree. There's so many rappers around their territory, they talk and they talk and they talk to give me a headache and I know to give Brother Tim a headache. They can't back up nothing, not a thing that they say. But now you take me and the Diamond Man, hey, we talk very little. You're talking about the former Continental no, Tag no, Team champion. No, we're talking about everybody. We're former nothing, pal. Let's get that straight for that thick glass head of yours right now. We are not talkers. We tell you like it is, and we go out and do it. Have I ever lied to you, Maxwell? I told you I was going to do something with Timmy, and we've done it. Now, there's the difference. Well, you told me that Leo Burke and Bobby Kay weren't going to win the Continental Tag I Team belts, and I can't, help, Bob. I can't help but notice that the belts are around their waist. Him, Timmy. Here's Bulldog Bob Brown. He's going for a ride, folks. And the crowd here is going to love this one. Oh, my. What makes you think that we won't face Bulldog Bob Brown and Chichi Cruz if they win the belt or anybody else? We don't walk away from nobody. We stand face to face, collar to collar with anybody, and get it on. You want to get it on? We'll get it on with anybody. You know what I just thought? I tell you what, he threw him into the ring, and that was Timmy. Timmy would throw him the other way, on into the concrete, and smash his head. We don't back up to anybody, any place, anywhere. You know this man here? He can't put. He can't be put down. He won't be put down because he is a man, and he likes the buck. Only real man in Canada, the only real man in the world. Maxwell, you know that. I tell you that every day. Bobby I want to know when you're going to have me on the radio G -G show. Cruz. I want to know when you're going to have me on your radio show. Everybody in this place knows me. I'd be G -G the biggest, the biggest, you'd have the biggest listening audience of your life. You just, too, you don't want to admit it. Well, well, wait a minute, Timmy, wait a minute. I was on the radio show. He had the biggest audience in there now. Let's not get an argument here, but it will not really had the biggest audience. Well, the Bobby, to get it, double it. Uh, we'll double it, we'll triple it. Oh, Max, okay. We'll take Maxwell's job. G.G. Cruz coming off the corner, and what do you know about he's sports anyways? Bulldog Brown coming into a system and starting to punish Leo Burke. Tag team action here at the Albert County Exhibition. Burke and Bobby Kay have enjoyed the upper hand. Now, I think the Bulldog has gone to some sort of foreign object. No, that's, not right. a, that's not a foreign object, Maxwell. That was made in Canada. I hate to break the news to you. What are you doing? You know very well what I mean. Why the mosquitoes? You said a foreign object. That was made in Canada. I've seen the print on it. Well, there was some <laughs> sort of device being used there by Bulldog Brown, pile driver, and down goes Leo Burke. But Brown, no question, reached into the tights and Leo pulled Burke something and out. I'm Leo Burke and brought it out. Now, what's Bobby K doing in there? He's got no right in there. Well, he's coming to his partner's aid. You coming, know very well what he's doing. He's got double got. teaming, cheating. Now, we Leo do that, Burke Timmy. Still. We're liars and we're cheats, but uh, come, when he does yeah, it... Yeah, but at least we admit we're liars and cheats. Yeah, that's right. When he do it, he's coming to his partner's aid. That's I can't right. believe these guys. Every time something bad happens, we are liars and cheats. Let me tell you something, Bobby. Between, yeah, brother, between brother. Maxwell and yeah. that Jerry White in the truck, yeah. they, you know, they do the voiceovers, they splice in all that garbage, make us look bad because they know that we're first class, me and you, right. and they're just yeah. jealous. First of all, Jerry White. I'll have you gentlemen know. Isn't he a little four foot two guy? The most four foot two. Man One in of the, the world. most respected <laughs> television producers in the entire industry across North America. I'm going to puke. And certainly with his qualifications in the business. I know Jerry Wright very well. I think he should lose some weight. Would not last very long if he was like resorting to those. He looks like Humpty Dumpty sat on the top of the camera and fell off. Thinks he's a cowboy with those bandanas around his head and his throat. I'd have choked the lights Leo Burke now tagging in 
in with Bobby Kay. And Chi Chi Cruz won. Both teams look tired to me. They don't have the stamina to me and Bass had You notice that, Gary? Oh, look at this. Bulldog ran into the wrong part of town. You know, does Leo Brookenham look tired? Here's Brown and Cruz getting better acquainted. Now, Leo, small package on Bulldog Brown. Just a count of two. Here's Bobby Kay on Chi Chi Cruz on a count of two. Now, the legal men in the ring, as I understand it, yeah, Bobby Chi Chi Cruz and Bobby Kay. What's the matter? You can't figure it out. Two from four. I, I can't believe this. Well, there's, there's four men that seem to roughly two nothing. And here's Brown decking Chi Chi Cruz. One, two, three, it's all over. And you're saying that we can't beat these guys? Are you out of your mind? No problem, baby. We're going to take them down and out and drive them like the dogs that they are. This crowd loves it. Yeah. The Continental Tag Team Champions. You're trying to tell Leo me. Leo Burke and Bobby Kay, their arms raised in victory once again. And yeah, you we told on Bob Brown. Can only sit and wonder what went wrong. Another great match, you great action. Coming, you know and of course, uh, Diamond uh, Timothy uh, and No Class Bass. Let's get over here. Yeah, we'll take you guys down and out okay, for good. Okay, we to go back in the ring and do something. Yeah, why don't we? Why don't we? Yeah, there will.